Is direct to vendor ethical? Well, you know, I question anyone that thinks it isn't because, you know, um, to me, direct to vendor is ethical and everything in life is ethical, but it can, well, not everything, I'm gonna back myself into a corner there. Most things within business, legal business are ethical. Um, it's just the people that make them unethical, right? So you can, you're solving a genuine problem for a vendor who's in, let's say, financial difficulty, right? There's a vendor in financial difficulty, they don't have any money, but they've got this big house, like a big house, right? And they need some money. Now, if you can give them some money for their house, then you're solving a problem, right? Right? Yeah. Um, but if if they're in really bad, in, if they're in a really bad place, and you need to give them money, okay, you've got the leverage there. If you've got the capital and they've got the house, okay, but they need to sell that house because they need cash, then you, you, you are in the leveraged position, right? You have all of the cards in your deck, okay? And you can negotiate as good a price as you want. But in reality, when you look at the financials, you don't need anything more, you don't need more than 30% discount to make it a free purchase. Okay, if you can gear a property up to 70%, 75%, then why do you need more than 30% discount? You just don't, okay? so. At that point, that's where it becomes unethical, okay? You could probably negotiate 50% off, 60%, 70% off if you wanted to, okay? But you don't need to. You don't need to. And it's at that point where if you've got someone that's in a bad place and you're, you're exposing them for that reason and you're exploiting them to gain more cash, then you are, you are in an ethically wrong place, in my opinion. What do you think? Do you think it's fair? If you've got all the cards and you can negotiate the best the best price, that you should negotiate the best price for you, because that means then that someone definitely is missing out and losing out. Business should be about win-win, right? Both sides of the equation should be win-win. Okay, there shouldn't be one person feeling like they've lost. I've spoken about this before. Okay, I was surprised when some of my friends for my old friends from uni were like, "Oh, but you know, someone always loses." They don't have to, but that's only if you make the conscious decision. Yes, you. If you make the conscious decision, you, to run an ethical and fair business that operates on a win-win basis. So, yes, direct-to-vendor is ethical if you make it so.